Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. All right, you guys, I just made eggs, and I have this nice little carton left over, and I was just getting ready to throw it in the recycle bin because it is recyclable, and I realized this would be a great little moving container for our rocks. Oh, yeah. We've this got, one won't fit. Well, yeah, a couple are too big. But we have these painted rocks that we've collected in different areas or that we've made ourselves. I painted, this was one of my very first rocks that I painted and I liked it, so I kept it. <laughs> um, ice cream cone. Oh, you put that in your mouth. I thought you were putting a rock in your mouth. I was like, what? <laughs> This one we found at Gatorama, and it was just so good that um, we kept it. And this one I painted for Alex back when she was like really into Harry Potter. Um, and I also painted her this um, kind of Harry Potter themed. I never got the courage to try to draw the numbers, <laughs> but um, I did finish, you know, the brick part. This one took me a lot of time long time to do. Um, it's obviously not going to fit in here, but what I could probably do is put something over top of these and then it could fit and fit on top. But anyway, I thought, well, that would be a cute. Oh, and Alex made this one and I thought it was so cute that I kept that one as well. So, um, yeah, some of our little painted rocks, I thought that would be a good little way to kind of protect them in the move. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can probably stick some like, um, bubble wrap like wrap these in bubble wrap or something and put them in there as well a moment alone not a moment for peace and quiet mommy has some things to vlog about to tell the people and somebody are you gonna burp on me and somebody has to be in my lap has to come with me it's okay i closed the door and i knew i better bring the pixie with me oh my gosh mommy needs to clean your eye boogers I do it every morning, I forgot to do it, oh my gosh. Okay guys, so there have been a lot of questions in the comments. Um, typically I read the comments like every day and I try to respond to them, um, but I haven't, I, ha I really just haven't been able to get to it lately. I've been super busy trying to pack up everything and get ready for our move. There have been a lot of questions. Why are you moving? Where are you moving to? when are you moving, um, where, when, why, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to kind of address a few things. Um, first and foremost, I want to tell you guys that this was not just like a, a spur of the moment decision. This is something that we've been um, going back and forth on for a while about what the best thing to do for our family would be. It's not an easy decision. Um, we do love Michigan. And um, <laughs> I'm looking outside, looking at the dreariness, and it was actually snowing this morning. <laughs> no. um, like some people are like, oh, you're going to be so glad to get away from the cold. Well, yes, it is. It is cold, but it's getting ready to be very nice. Spring is like my favorite. Spring, summer in Michigan is amazing. Even fall. I like the fall. Um, so uh, it's not like, oh, we don't like it here. We want to leave. It's not. It's not that. Um, and some people were asking or saying something about, well, Chelsea has her friends here and she, you know, plays with them every day and that sort of thing. Yes, she does. She has her friends here. She loves to play with them every day. Um, they'll, they'll always be her friends. When we come to visit in Michigan, which we do plan to do, um, as frequently as we can, <laughs> when we do come to visit, I'm going to make arrangements with her friends to get them all together. Um, in Florida, she has her cousins and she has friends from when we lived down there before. So Chelsea is going to, Chelsea makes friends wherever she goes and she's going to always have those friendships. Um, and we are renting this house that we're currently in. So it's not like we bought this house and like planned to stay here, we would have moved to a different area anyway. So we would have still been making arrangements for her to get to see her friends from, you know, whatever, whenever they wanted to get together. I did make a little list here so I don't forget. Um, so yeah, one of the things I was gonna say was we didn't plan to stay in this particular area anyway. 
Um, so when are we moving? We are leaving this Sunday. So May 30th, we are leaving. We are driving to Florida. I have my car and Michael has his car, his truck. So um, we have to drive our vehicles down. I'm going to have Chelsea and Pixie in the car with me. And Michael's truck is going to be packed with, you know, some of our like things that we didn't really necessarily want to put in the storage units. Um, where we are moving to, we're moving to Florida and it's, um, we're going to be living in the house that we lived in when we first started vlogging and when we, um, you know, first had Chelsea. So our old, old house, um, and this was another thing I wanted to talk about. So um, our last house that we sold in Florida was huge. It was 3,300 square feet. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of upkeep. I was, I like to keep a clean, tight, clean, tidy house and I don't like clutter. Um, and it felt like, so we were good for storage. Like the storage was good. It didn't feel cluttery or anything like that because we had good storage in that house. But I, I felt like I was always like cleaning it or having to clean it. Like you'd, as soon as you'd finish with one part of the house, you know, and then go to another, then you'd have to come back into it. It was so big and it was just a lot of upkeep. Um, it was too big for us. It, it really was. It was a great house. Oh, <laughs> just like flopping all over that great storage, but just too big. This house that we're currently in and renting, we do not own it. Um, is 1,700 square feet, and they don't include the utility room, I think, in the square footage. Like houses here, up here, they don't include the basements or like the garage or the utility in your square footage. So 1,700 living square feet, that's like the living areas. Um, so the utility room was nice for storage, um, and it was full, and the closets are pretty decent sized too. Um, now going back to our first house, it's, uh, 1100 square feet. So it is, um, quite a bit smaller, 1100 square feet, which is nice because, um, it's affordable. It's not too hard to upkeep, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. <laughs> not so much to clean, but we, on the bad side, there's a lot of pros and cons and, and the entire situation but um there is not a lot of storage which is concerning and so that's going to be something that we struggle with i don't like clutter but things are probably going to be pretty tight and cluttered so yeah um we're going to be living within just a few minutes of my parents and we're going to be living within a few minutes of my sister and so like anytime any of us need each other you know we're going to be there for each other um let's see oh there, we're going to have a here we don't have like a yard for the dog to run and play and chelsea to run and play like she does she goes out and runs and plays with her friends and and whatever but um we don't have that for pixel and i've always wanted her to be able to have a nice yard to just run and play in. And I've mentioned before in the vlogs about being um, charged at by loose dogs and having issues with, you know, people who just let their dogs run loose or, or whatever. And Pixel's such a big sweetheart that she won't do anything to defend herself. And so it's been a big concern for me. So she will have a big fenced in backyard, um, which is gonna be amazing. I enjoy walking her, although in the weather here, you know, it's cold or snow or rain a lot. And so it's like, there are times when it's, it's like, I do it because I have to. Um, but it'll be so nice to be able to run around in the yard and play with her and also let her out to potty and then just bring her back in, like not have to, you know, take her for walks for every potty break. So, and then Chelsea is also gonna have a big, nice fenced in yard to play in as well. Um, as far as future plans, uh, as I mentioned before, we love Michigan. Um, and this isn't necessarily like we're leaving and we're never coming back. 
we're coming back for visits as frequently as we can, especially in the summer would be so nice <laughs> because it's so nice here. Um, and you know, it's, it would be nice to be able to have like maybe a small place up here so that we can come and stay for, um, periods of time and enjoy ourselves. So, um, we'll see what the future holds with all of that. I, I know there's a lot of, you know, unanswered like whys and what or whatever but just know that this was a decision that we mulled over and we put a lot of thought into and planning into and um we we feel it's what's best for our family so we are going to continue to vlog we're going to bring you guys along for the journey um and i will also put this out there too, that the house, um, in Florida does need to be like painted right away. And it, there's a lot of like fix ups, a lot of, um, like renovations that we wanted to do. However, it, it's probably just going to be stretched over time instead of, because it's empty right now, instead of being able to like just go in and and do all the renovations that we want to do. We're going to take it a little bit at a time and maybe like one renovation at a time. I know I'm going to paint right away when we get there. I actually enjoy painting and it needs to be painted. So that's going to be the first thing. I already have the colors picked out for everything but Chelsea's room because she's having a hard time picking her color. I told her she could pick any color she wanted and she's having a little bit of a hard time deciding, but I think once we get there and she's like in the space and can look at like the paint samples then that'll help her to decide. So anyway, I think that covers everything. Um, so yeah, we're, we're still packing up and moving and we're going to be leaving in just a few days. I had this blanket like flipped up and she just flopped her whole body onto it while I was walking. She, Don't mind me, mommy. I'll just, I'll just lay here and take a nap. It's just like breathing really heavily. Wow, are you relaxed? She also needs some grooming before we leave. I need to give her a bath and clip her nails and trim up her booty hair because stuff gets stuck in it. And that's not any fun, especially on a road trip. <laughs> Elsie and I are talking about gardening and what's gonna happen with pots and plants and things like that. And Pixel is out enjoying the deck without stuff on it. Michael and I brought in the, ooh, there we go. Brought in the patio furniture last night. Oh, there's bird poop all over that. Well, all over what? All over oh, the deck. the deck. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, and so we brought that in last night to make sure it stays dry. And then um, Pixel is out there enjoying the big deck. And you're going out there too? Yeah. Um, Chelsea was talking to me about gardening and um, what's so, it's so different. It's totally different gardening in Florida than it is in Michigan. And Florida's easier because it's always like warm. Yeah. It doesn't well, get like cold winters. But now all the sometimes it can get too hot or too wet from the rain. And I know like when we did gardening before, a lot of our stuff got scorched from the sun, like burned from the sun. Mm -hmm. So um, like a little mini umbrellas for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very I'm very fortunate that my sister's husband, Uncle George is very good at gardening and he's done a lot of trial and error over the years and he is going to help me with gardening and I was just explaining to Chelsea she's like I want fruits and vegetables so I can just go out to the garden and pick them and eat them whenever I want and I said well um you know we'll be able to do that but it's not going to be right away <laughs> because uh we, we're going to be busy or we have a lot of things to do when we first get there so it's gonna take some time before we can start growing a garden and all of that. But um, Chelsea was saying, oh, I was like, oh, Pixie loves being out there with all the room that she has now. And Chelsea's like, oh, she's gonna have a big yard down in Florida, so. Big fenced in yard. Yeah, she's gonna have 
Oh, did they eat all that seed already? You just filled it. They eat it fast. Yeah, there's been a lot of birds out there. Um, the hey, little ones, there's the little birds, and then the big ones, I think, built a nest under the deck. Um, Do they have babies? Uh, well, if probably no eggs. Baby, if there's no baby birds. <laughs> probably not babies, but maybe eggs, and then they'll hatch later on. Guess what our daughter did to me today? Tried to do to me. I don't want, I'm not a huge fan of jelly beans. Some jelly belly flavors I do like, but I'm very picky about any type of jelly bean. She says, mom, the black ones are Coca-Cola flavored. They taste like Coca-Cola. <laughs> I said, Chelsea. She ate the black one. She, did, she, she likes, likes she them. Can't. She likes the licorice. I said, Chelsea. It's fine, because uh, there's no way in heck I'm eating those. I said, the black is licorice, and I don't like licorice. I don't like jelly beans for the most part. Boy, There's a few flavors I like. E Easter jelly beans are nasty. Jelly, jelly belly. belly. Oh my gosh. They're, they're good. Yeah. The only flavors I don't like are they do have a coffee mocha or something. Which I do like, of course. So I will eat every other flavor in here. I do like I do like jelly belly. I don't like any other type of jelly bean that I've tried in recent history. I liked them as a kid. Um the but yeah, she was like, Mom, that tastes like black licorice. No, it tastes like Coca-Cola. She's trying to get me to eat them. They do make Coca-Cola ones. I know, Pepper. but I was like, um. They do? Yeah. Dr. Pepper, oh, root beer. I said, pretty sure. Orange pop. Pretty sure the black ones are licorice shells. <laughs> I figured it out before I ate one. So I do like the buttered popcorn. I eat all of them. I do Same. like the <laughs> cotton candy. Butter popcorn, uh, coconuts maybe okay, yeah, pina well, colada, strawberry coconut. cheesecake. Yeah, toasted marshmallow. Oh, I really like the toasted marshmallow. Those are I really like good. Those. I even oh. saw any of those in there. Um, I like the cinnamon red hot, probably the best. Oh, she ate one of those earlier and she's like, my mouth's on fire. <laughs> I just it out and then put it back in. So it was bad. Okay, <laughs> red ones that have orange on it, don't eat those. Those are mine. Okay. She's like, my mouth's on fire. Oh, those are the best. <laughs> I love the it was so fruit. funny. I love the tutti frutti. Yeah, the tutti frutti is good too. So there are a few. Bubble gum, I think. What happened? Why gum. is there no coffee no, ones? Did she eat the coffee ones? I, I think they skimp on some. Oh. You might get one. You don't necessarily get all of the any, flavors. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? And you know what? Another thing it reminds me of is that, what is that called where you get one that's gross? Like the, the jelly belly challenge, oh, something yeah, like I, that. I what so like I see the flavors and I'm like, oh, Did like it coffee? reminds me of, Did of that. Did you say coffee? Yeah, I think there's a mocha one. There's supposed to be a coffee well, one. Well, maybe not in these yeah. small Oh bags. no, yeah, this one doesn't have it on there. If you buy the big bags they do, they have more flavors on them. Yeah, the so I will say flavor them. wise, I do like the jelly belly. I but... like the butter popcorn. Yeah. But I ate oh yeah, I the ate buttered them. popcorn is really good, and the toasted marshmallow. Those two are probably my blueberry? favorite. Yeah, there was only one. Uh, <laughs> I ate two. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's oh. a race to see who well, can I eat just, the good I just ones. I added a new, new pack last night, so. Oh, you did? Yeah. 